It's really weird how the 3DS has kind of made a comeback, even though the eShop has closed. Like, you'd think that with the eShop closing, it would just turn into a dead console. People have not forgotten about this thing. The 3DS gaming community is more active now than ever, and that's because of 3DS modding. Right here I have my original 3DS. This one is not hacked. I got this one when I was like 13. Um, I do not plan on hacking it. I do not plan on getting it modded. Um, this is just, I guess I just have this out for comparison reasons. Um, but I have this modded 3DS. I know it's extremely easy to mod or hack a 3DS. I know that's like the meme. I still don't think that I'm smart enough to do that. Honestly, I didn't even really want to try. I got this hacked slash modded 3DS off of Etsy. Um, I paid a little bit more than I probably should have on this, but it's not because of the modded part. It was because I was picky about the condition of the console. So yeah, I thought I would just go through my modded 3DS today and kind of show what's on it, what I play on it. Um, see all the cool things that you can do on it if you're thinking about getting a modded 3DS or modding your own 3DS. And I can also do a comparison with a regular one. So, yeah. First thing right off the bat with modded 3DSs is that you can have custom themes. So if you notice here, I have a Breath of the Wild theme um, on my 3DS. It's super cute. It's not like any official artwork. I think this is probably somebody's artwork um, from Pinterest or something, or Twitter. And basically to customize these themes, you can go on the theme plaza online and you can scan in any kind of theme that you want. You can search up certain themes if you want like a certain character or a certain game, um, and you can just scan it in, add it to your list of themes, and then you can have it as your wallpaper. I really love the customization that modding brings to it. I feel like some of the themes you were kind of just stuck with or you had to pay like five bucks. Maybe not five bucks, but you had to pay for themes, which I think is kind of silly on the 3DS. So yeah, themes are great. The other thing about a modded 3DS is that you can basically have a whole library of digital games just wherever, just with you. Um, you don't have to worry about game cartridges, you don't have to worry about losing them. I still love physical games and collecting the games and like having these, but it's also really nice to not have to take them around everywhere if you wanna play a certain game. I have a lot of games downloaded on here currently. I have some Pokemon games. I have Pokemon um, Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, Pokemon X and Y, um, Omega Ruby and Sapphire. Um, we have Doodle Jump, Animal Crossing, I also have some Kirby games, which I actually haven't played a lot of yet. Um, we have some Little Legend of Zelda games, Triforce Heroes, and A Link Between Worlds. I have some Cooking Mama, classic. Um, I have some Mario games, Luigi's Mansion, um, and then some other like more obscure games. I have Cut the Rope, which is pretty fun, and then also Angry Birds. There are some games I have not played on here, such as like Mononoke Forest, um, Grimmin 3D, I have not played that yet. Um, I also have some Harvest Moon games. Great thing about modded 3DSs is, is that they're also emulators, and so you can play older Game Boy games, um, you can play DS games, and all that fun stuff. Over here I have like Plants vs. Zombies for the DS, um, Yokai Watch, some Professor Layton games. Um, I have a Resident Evil game that I have not played yet on here and I'm kind of curious what it's like. But yeah, back to emulators. This thing can emulate games for the SNES, um, Virtua NES, uh, Game Boy, can also do DS games. So yeah, emulators are cool. I'm never gonna have an SNES, so if I want to play an SNES game on here, I can. Um, I'm sure somewhere down the line I might get a Game Boy, so that's not like completely out, but 
It's cool that I can play those Game Boy games also on here. Ever since the eShop closed, there's been an eShop replacement called the H Shop, which basically has a bunch of ROMs of different games. But it's kind of just a simplified version of the eShop. It's nothing fancy, it's kind of just like a white screen with a bunch of text on it. But you can search for games, you can search for DLC, I'm pretty sure you can search for themes. So it's a pretty cool replacement. You kind of just select whatever game you want and you can download it if you have the storage. And yeah, it's pretty simple to use, which I appreciate. Pokemon Bank is on here too. I haven't even used this. I know that was like a super big deal. People were like really worried about losing Pokemon Bank. But yeah, I think you can also use any region locked games on here, like physical cartridges. Um, I don't have any besides US games, so I don't know, I'm, I can't really test it out, but I'm sure that since this is like region free, you can basically play any game you want on here. But yeah, right next to games, we have a bunch of folders. Um, basically we have system, which is basically the the eShop is still there and all the basic like 3DS apps that it comes with. We also have NDS games. This is like, well, the DS game app. We have homebrews. So we have um, homebrew launcher itself, uh, FBI, HShop, um, Universal Updater, and Luma, Pokemon Bank. And I actually don't know what this is, or this, oops. Then we also have themes, Anemone, Anemone? Am I saying that right? Anemone 3DS Theme Manager. Basically, this is where you get all your themes. I think the games I've probably played on here the most are Pokemon Shuffle. I really like Pokemon Shuffle. Um, also, Zelda Ocarina of Time is cool. I never had a copy of that. I'll probably get one eventually, but I just don't have a physical copy right now. So I've been playing through that. And then here's a comparison of what my modded 3DS looks like next to a regular 3DS. I only have a few games on this one. Whereas on this one, you can see it's like chocked full of games. I can play a lot of games now that I've always wanted to play like very easily without having to like find a physical copy on eBay, especially if they're like super expensive. Um, I was looking for like a physical copy of Tamodachi Life and it's, it's up there in price. It's getting more expensive every day. I definitely recommend modding your 3DS or getting a modded 3DS. I got mine on Etsy. I think you can also find them on eBay. There are also like send-in services where if you don't want to buy a whole new 3DS, you can just send in one that you already have. If it's so easy to hack or mod your 3DS, honestly, you could probably just ask a friend to do it if you don't want to do it yourself. But yeah, that's all I have to talk about today. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe subscribe or like or comment, whatever you want to do. Um, and I'll see you next time.